AI Accelerator from Qualcomm packs extra punch for autonomous robots. Qualcomm is incorporating its Cloud AI 100 Accelerator into its latest offering for autonomous robots and drones. Qualcomm introduced this high-end hardware development kit called the Robotics RB6 platform that can act as the brains of an autonomous robot, drones, or delivery robots. As artificial intelligence becomes a driving force for robots, so has the hardware under the hood powering them. Qualcomm said it upgraded its RB6 system with its Cloud AI 100, which is designed for AI inferencing in data centers, giving it more than 10 times the performance of its predecessor released in 2020. It adds state-of-the-art 5G connectivity as well, with support for ultra-fast millimeter-wave 5G networks. The unique combinations of AI and 5G abilities in Qualcomm's RB6 will let customers build smarter, safer, and more advanced robots. Inside the RB6 system is Qualcomm's QRB5165, a robotics-grade system on a chip manufactured on the 7 nanometer process. At the heart of the processor is the Cairo 585 CPU, the same that sits inside the Snapdragon 865 for smartphones. Clocked at frequencies of up to 2.84 GHz, the CPU uses a combination of 464-bit high-performance cores that run hefty computational workloads and four high-efficiency cores that help prolong a robot's battery life. The processor also contains Qualcomm's Hexagon DSP698 with Hexagon Vector extensions, as well as Tensor and Scalar Acceleration engines to pump out up to 15 trillion operations per second for on-device AI and deep learning workloads without burning through excess battery life. The chip also has hardware acceleration for advanced computer vision with its engine for video analytics block. Qualcomm said that the AI engine inside the system on a chip is supplemented by the Cloud AI 100 Accelerator. This gives the RB6 many times more processing power for AI workloads than the RB5. Leveraging the Cloud AI 100, the RB6 system can supply from 70 up to 200 tera operations per second of performance. The RB6 platform also packs in more vision processing prowess than the RB5 to help robots sense and react to obstacles in the surrounding world. The system connects to 12 cameras via DPHY and 18 cameras via CPHY with up to 7 concurrently. In addition, it can process up to 24 1080p video feeds at the same time. Also, under the hood is its Adreno 650 visual processing subsystem, which unites an Adreno GPU and a video processing unit. Backing everything up is a secure processing unit that acts as a secure vault in hardware to safeguard data such as faces, iris scans, and other biometric information that must remain secret. The SPU is designed to deliver features including hardware root of trust, a trusted execution environment, as well as secure boot. Designed with a dual M2 card form factor, the RB6 platform is based on a flexible architecture that accepts expansion cards. These cards can be used to add support for release 15, release 16, 17, 18, as well as 5G networks when they're available. Designed to handle harsh industrial environments and operate in temperatures ranging from minus 30 Celsius to 105 Celsius, the QRB5165 can communicate over industrial protocols such as EtherCAT and time-sensitive networking, or TSN. The dual 14-bit Spectra 480 image signal processor handles up to 2 trillion pixels a second with high-performance capture of 200 megapixel images, 8K video recording, and 4K video capture. Qualcomm said the QRB5165 can be supplemented with 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 DRAM, running it up to 2750 MHz. The RB6 development kit adds advanced connectivity using Qualcomm's FastConnect 6800 system with Wi-Fi 6. Qualcomm said its RB6 is backed by its Intelligent Multimedia Software Developer Kit, a set of software tools comprised of artificial intelligence, computer vision, as well as networking and multimedia building blocks to support end-to-end -end deployment of robotics. RB6 supports a range of industrial middleware, including the Robot Operating System, or ROS. Energy-efficient AI hardware inspired by neuromodulation of the brain allows for a stashing system. Researchers in Korea have proposed a new system to reduce the energy consumption in spiking neuromorphic AI networks that can be used with today's chip designs. The research group from the Department of Material Science and Engineering at KAIST in Seoul has developed a new technology which can efficiently handle AI operations by imitating the continuous changes in the topology of the neural network according to the situation. Using neural networking techniques that mimic brain activity with neuromorphic or spiking neural network designs is seen as a way to reduce the high power consumption of AI accelerators in sensing and vision applications. The human brain changes its neural topology in real time, learning to store or recall memories as needed. The research group developed the new learning method by directly implementing these neural coordination circuit configurations. The team used a self-rectifying synaptic memristor array and an algorithm called a stashing system. As a result, it was able to reduce energy by 37% within the stashing system without any accuracy degradation. The array uses a memristive dot product engine that has also been used for vector processing. The array includes a crossbar array where each memory element includes a memristor. 
In the study, the researchers implemented a learning method of the human brain with only a simple circuit composition, and through this they were able to reduce the energy needed by nearly 40%. This stashing system is compatible with existing electronic devices and commercialized semiconductor hardware. It's expected to be used in the design of next-generation semiconductor chips for artificial intelligence. Salience Labs marries photonics and electronics in AI processor. Oxford-based startup Salience Labs is rethinking multi-chip processors, combining the merits of photonics and electronics on a single chip. The researchers are currently prototyping a chip that harnesses the capabilities of light to execute operations. The team has designed this ultra-high throughput tensor processing chip to improve processing performance and accelerate advances in artificial intelligence. Salience Labs' initial prototype of a photonic processor can use tiny light rays within confined silicon chips to rapidly process data. In one of their recently released publications, the research team noted that the photonic processor can efficiently operate at teramultiply accumulate per second speeds for modern data-intensive applications applications. The team also suggests that phase change memory arrays and photonic chip-based optical frequency combs allow for its photonic processor to achieve parallelized photonic in-memory computing. This light-based processor can speed up machine learning by processing complex mathematical tasks at high speeds and throughputs. It's said to exhibit significant improvements over conventional processor chips that rely on electronic data transfer. This study presents an industry-first application of frequency combs in the field of artificial neural networks, which is essential for independent processing of optical wavelengths within the same processor chip. With these convolutional neural networks, the chip can achieve high accuracies in classifying image and audio data. Unlike digital electronics that require several sequential processing steps, photonic in-memory computing requires a single-step matrix vector multiplication. Salience Labs says that their photonic in-memory computing provides additional freedom for n-multiplex vectors. The primary objective for Salience Labs is to develop a hybrid photonic electronic chip for AI applications. Findings from their recent publication show that the solution offers high-speed data processing, low power consumptions, high accuracy, and high precision data analysis. With these features, the chip may be used to evaluate large data sets for diagnosis in clinical settings, improve self-driving vehicles, as well as enhance IT infrastructure for cloud computing. The newly released photonic chip from the company allows data modulation at up to 100 GHz, allowing high parallelization levels with multiplexing.